right, so live on Instagram and on Facebook. Are you feeling stuck in your business? Thanks so much for joining me. In less than 15 minutes, I'll be sharing with you a strategy that you can use to get unstuck in your business. Please like and share this video if you get value from it. And if you're watching it on the replay, type hashtag replay in there. Really appreciate your support. So I'm Dr. P. I'm a strategic business coach. And I used to be a school psychologist for about 10 years in K-12 schools, served on professional organization committees, and I've taught and I'm still teaching online graduate psychology courses because I really enjoy teaching. I teach at the master's level. And this topic today, are you feeling stuck in your business? It really was inspired by some conversations I've been having today. Did a lot of networking sessions today, and this, this feeling of being stuck was coming up. So I thought, hey, let me talk about this topic and share it in today's video. So there are really a lot of aspects of business, as you know, as a business owner. And a lot of those things connect with strategy because you've heard me say I'm a strategic business coach. And I realize a lot of people don't already um, necessarily put that information together as to what exactly is involved in it. So literally think of every aspect of your business. And hey, Eddie Designs by Igassi. Hey, thanks so much for joining. I'm talking about getting unstuck in our businesses. And when you're looking at having that strategy, it is what actually goes into that strategy. And several things go into your strategy, right? And when you have that strategy in place, it can help you with getting unstuck. Because there are lots of actions and lots of tasks that are connected to your strategy. And these are key for helping us to prevent from getting stuck in our business. And like I said, today I had all these conversations and I was hearing this theme of people not necessarily having a strategy. Some people did, some people didn't. And they were sharing some examples as well from other businesses that they work with. And we realized that a lot of people get this stuck feeling. And it could be because you know, you're know you doing all these different things and you feel you're doing all these different things, but yet you're not moving forward. Right? But yet you still keep adding more and more things to what you're doing, thinking that as you add all these different things, somehow they're going to help you to, with moving forward. Right? Then you get to the end of the month, you get to the end of the quarter, and what? You still have not reached that goal that you thought you were going to reach at the end of the month or the end of the quarter. So that's that stuck feeling that I'm talking about. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you this strategy that can help you with getting unstuck in your business. Because... Maybe you're thinking about keeping your business as just being you or you and your partner or, you know, bringing on a smaller team. It, whatever it is, it is for your goal for your business, just think about where you want your business to be in the next three years or the next five years, right? Because I haven't had a direct conversation with you, so I'm not sure where you want your business to be in the next three years or the next five years. Like I said, it could just be you. could be you and a partner, you and a small team, or even growing to a bigger team. But you will need that strategy for helping you with moving forward and getting unstuck. So regardless of the option that you are going to be using, there are going to be certain functions and skills that you're going to need to accomplish those goals, right? To help you with moving forward. And as an entrepreneur, we wear many hats, especially at the beginning when we're building up our businesses. But then we grow and we start to lose some of those hats when we bring on other employees, you know, other team members, or even, you know, you might even have some 1099s that you bring on board. But the thing is, as you grow, you're going to be redefining your goals. You're going to be redefining the functions and the skills that you need for helping you with moving forward. And the reason is, we're, as we're growing, our roles are going to be changing. So that's the reason why we start to lose some of those hats. Because again, at the beginning, it was just you, or it was you and a partner, and y'all did a lot of those things, right? But now as you're growing, there are going to be different things that you will have to be taking on. So your role within your business is also going to be changing. So when you, your, your roles are changing, you also have to change your mindset. That is also something that we have to change so that we can become on stuck right so we're going to likely be focusing on several different things and not getting them accomplished when we are feeling stuck 
And it could be that you're not recognizing that your role has changed within your business. Your business is changing, it's growing. Your role is going to change with those changes in your overall business. So as you're looking at those changes, with those new roles, those new functions, and a need for talent, what if you don't have that talent that you need for those new skills or that new talent that you need for your business and moving forward? Do you know um, what talents are needed to complete the tasks that you believe you need to have in your business? These are things that you have to think about because at the end of the day, when you are able to identify that there is a need your business has and you might not have what is necessary, then you really have to acknowledge you're going to need to bring in specific talent, right? Specific um, employees, you know, grow specific skills. You're going to have to recognize that need. And that this is where a task analysis can come in and save your day. I'm telling you, it makes such a huge difference when you're able to do a task analysis. Because when you redefine your goals, you're also going to be looking at the tasks that you need to reach those new goals that you've redefined, right? And the task analysis is a strategic process that helps you to identify and outline the tasks that you're going to need to complete your goals. And once you've identified those tasks, then you'll need to identify the objectives. Because having doing a task analysis does not stop with just identifying the task, and it doesn't stop with just identifying the objectives. Because we also have to identify the subtasks. So you're really pulling it into even smaller tasks that you'll have to complete to get to that big picture. Because by the time you're finished with your task analysis, what you're going to end up having is really a hierarchy of the tasks that you need to complete with the subtasks and also the steps for each one of those subtasks. Oh, and don't forget the objectives as well. You're going to have that plan laid out for you once you've completed the task analysis appropriately. And let me tell you, once you have that, it's going to be such a clear picture for what is needed, right? So now you're going to have an idea of the task. But there's something else you also need to consider. Do you have the talent? Do you have the skill sets to complete those tasks? And if you've already done some type of strengths assessment, a skills assessment, and you are already familiar with the, the skills that you possess, then hey, you are in a good position to really look at the task analysis you just completed and to be able to make the decisions of which tasks can you complete based on the skills, based on the talent you have. And if you haven't already completed some type of strength assessment or skills assessment, I highly recommend that you do it. Why? Because it's going to save you so much time when it comes to assigning tasks to specific people. Because if it's just you and you're looking at tasks that need to be completed to help your business with moving forward, guess what? You might actually be looking at bringing on other people to help complete those tasks because you don't have the skill set for that. And that's fine. We don't have the skills to do everything, right? And that's why there are so many different other business owners out there who have all these different niches. Designs by Edgy, I guess he is one of them. Um, his skill set is with branding. So it's really reaching out to those other people who have that, those other skill sets that you don't have to help you with moving forward. If you've identified that's a task that you need to complete to reach the goals you have identified for your business. Remember, we're looking at three-year goals, five-year goals, our strategic plan. So when you're always focused on your goals, you're going to be breaking it down again into those tasks, into those objectives, into those subtasks, into those steps, and really making sure that you're being real with yourself, right? Because we got to be real with ourselves to know whether or not we do have the skills necessary to complete the task that we have outlined to help us with moving our businesses forward. We gotta be real with ourselves. we do. So again, have you completed some type of assessment to see where you are at in terms of your skill set? And if you're working with a partner, because I've come across business owners who have partners, maybe you don't have the, the talent and the skills, but your business partner does. So really looking at how y'all are gonna be assigning those tasks. And if the two of you don't have the necessary skills, 
Do you have current employees right now who have those skills that you can assign those tasks to? Because you identify the goals you want for, wanted for your business. You sat down, you did that task analysis. Guess what? Those tasks have to be completed if you really want to be able to accomplish your goal. So if you don't have the skill set, your partner doesn't have the skill set, then maybe it's one of your employees or you're bringing on someone to help you with moving forward towards that goal. Because if we're not going to be moving forward towards our goal, remember what I said at the beginning, we're going to be sitting feeling as though, you know, we're doing all these many, many things, but yet we're not moving forward. You know, when we stop and we do a reflection at how did this month go, how did this quarter go, and we realize we're not moving forward, it can very likely be because you're not completing the task that you need to be completing to get your business to be moving forward. Remember, yes, we wear many hats at the beginning when we're starting our businesses, but at some point in time, our roles change and there are certain places within our business where we have to be putting our energy and effort and this is where we can bring in others to help us accomplish the tasks we really need to be accomplishing. Remember, at the end of the day too, you can always work with a business coach who has experience in psychometrics to help you with completing your task analysis so you can truly get unstuck or you can choose to do it on your own. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. It's your business, your decisions that you're making for the business because you are the, the founder, you are the CEO, you are that key decision maker. So I really hope that this helped you with getting unstuck a task analysis is one of those strategies that you can use to help you get unstuck in your business. I'm Dr. Priscilla Cooser with Priscilla Cooser Consulting Solutions. Remember, solutions plus actions equals results. Thanks, y'all.